Hi, it's Midnight Mule. This is what was written and today I thought I'd take a look at what the Watchtower have said about Alpha Omega, the beginning, and the end, the first and the last. Now, as with other topics, I thought, oh, this would be a quick one. I can put this together quite quickly. But as I started checking things out, it grew bigger and bigger. But rather than make one big video, I thought this time I'd split it into three discrete parts because it might be easier for you to watch and maybe a bit easier for me to record. So I'm going to start with looking at what the Watchtower currently say about all these things. So first, the normal fair use notice. So first and last, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Today, I think I'm just looking at the New World Translation. So in Isaiah 44, verse 6, it says, This is what Jehovah says, the King of Israel and his repurchaser, Jehovah of armies. I am the first and I am the last. There is no God but me. Jehovah says, I am the first and I am the last. So we can notch that down as Jehovah is the first and the last, according to Isaiah 44, 6. A bit later in the same book, Isaiah 48, 12, Listen to me, O Jacob and Israel, whom I have called. I am the same one. I am the first. I am also the last. And if you check the context out, this is Jehovah God speaking. So we have two occurrences in the Old Testament now where we can show Jehovah is the first and the last. Revelation 1, 8, I am the Alpha and the Omega, says Jehovah God, the one who is and the one who was and who is coming, the Almighty. The Alpha and Omega, says Jehovah God. So here we go. The Alpha and Omega is Jehovah. This is according to the New World Translation. Revelation 21, 6, And he said to me, They have come to pass. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To anyone thirsting, I will give from the spring of the water of life free. And if you check out the notes on the New World Translation, there are all these little asterisks and things on there screen on the page itself you'll find out they're attributing this to Jehovah and we've already established Alpha and Omega's Jeho Jehovah God so I am the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end the beginning and the end is also Jehovah Revelation 22 13 I am the Alpha and the Omega the first and the last the beginning and the end so Revelation 22 13 ties all three of these attributes together and something John Donne does in his writing is he sometimes emphasizes something by saying the same thing, but in different ways. And this is an example of that. Alpha and Omega, the first, the last, the beginning, the end. They're all kind of saying the same thing. And again, if you check this out, according to the Watchtower, they attribute all three of these in this verse to Jehovah God. So hopefully I've not gone too fast, but I've shown where all these things are. Now, Revelation 1, 17, 18, this is still, of course, written by John. When I saw him, I fell as dead at his feet, and he laid his right hand on me and said, Do not be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. And I became dead, but look, I am living forever and ever, and I have the keys of death and of the grave. So I am the first and the last. We've already found out that's Jehovah, and I became dead. So this leads to the logical question, when did Jehovah die? And this is from their Bible, so what's going on here? Okay, potential explanations. This is just me thinking logically, what could the reasons be? Well, logically, Jehovah died at some point, hence this verse. This verse does not mean what it plainly says. It's another possibility. All the references about Alpha Omega first, last, beginning, end are not all about Jehovah. So one at a time, Jehovah died at some point in time. I've not found anything in Watchtower literature to suggest this is what they teach or this is what they believe. This verse does not mean what it plainly says. This is the Watchtower's go-to, um, I want to say trick, trick's the wrong word. This is their go-to play, if you like. If you read the Bible plainly, you cannot come up with the Watchtower's teachings, but if you believe what they say, and there are many times they'll have a verse that say, oh yeah, but it doesn't mean this, what it means is that. And of course you can get the Bible to say anything. So for me in a lot of places, not necessarily saying here, but in a lot of places, the Watchtower deny what the, a verse in the Bible plainly says and then say it means something else. 
And then the third logical possibility is the references about Alpha Omega first, last, beginning, end, and not all about Jehovah. So quick video. What I've looked at today is the first and the last is Jehovah, always, according to the Watchtower, as is the Alpha Omega, as is the beginning, the end, which then leads to the question, when did Jehovah die? And all of that is by their own Bible. Next time, what I'm going to do in the next video, see I kept it short, I'm going to look at the finished mystery. This was from 1917. This was the last book that was written before Jesus supposedly looked down and chose the Watchtower Society to represent him. So Jesus would have read this book before he chose them. So I'm going to see what this book says about this matter. Thank you.